All right, I want to make a real quick, short and sweet video on installing these Bennett built LS style. These are the Hummer Hummer style with the heat sink. Replacing the stock Mazda coil packs. Um, what you're going to want to do to make your life a little easier, probably easier to just get the whole airbox assembly out. I took the belt off for the AC compressor. It's just a 17 mil bolt there, and then loose on a 10 mil, and this pulley drops down. Real easy. And then I took a, these two 12 mil bolts out that has the engine hook on it. Got that out of the way. There's a bolt here, and there's two bolts on the side there that hold that stock that factory coil bracket on it uh, it sits in there kind of like that that's your top bolt and then those two are your bottom they're both 10 mils they come out pretty easy um, changing spark plugs at the same time you can get those from underneath take that uh, either through the wheel well or underneath you could take the uh, that uh, rock guard off under the engine makes it pretty easy. Um, so yeah, not too bad. You're gonna have to unhook some harnesses and stuff like that. Get some harnesses out of your way. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like once it's sitting in there. All right, now this is it. Pretty much fully installed. Got that belt back on, like I said head of that adjuster is a 10 mil and that nut on the pulley you got to loosen is a 17 there's a 10 mil nut it's kind of buried in there there's a bracket like a grounding bracket that goes in there I wonder if I can zoom on it make sure that grounding bracket goes on top there's a grounding wire and uh, I can only imagine they left it this long because they want you to ground it to the battery, not on the engine block. So I'm going to do that when I install it. Like I said, there's one bolt there. And then there's another one that's kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, you just fish the wires down through the hole back there. Um, the nice thing about this kit is, I won't be able to show you, but the front of the housing tells you what, uh, exactly what position the wire goes. Uh, note on that, the T spark plugs are the top, the L spark plugs are the lower, and then you're going to have rotor one, rotor two farther back. So, um, I'm going to put the rest of this together and then give you a video of it starting for the first time. Alright, now we're going to start. So that was a little bit faster than it usually starts. Usually you gotta crank it for three to five seconds before it pop off. Um, so it did crank a little faster, but I'm also curious, since these coil packs haven't been run since they were manufactured, you know, they haven't had much voltage to them yet. So maybe as I drive it more and more, it will, uh, start quicker but uh hope this was helpful just wanted to make a real quick video i didn't want to drag it out having a bunch of just taking each and every single bolt off so uh please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one